Hey everybody, how's it going? I'm your host with the most, HK1990, and this is HK1990 Gaming right here on YouTube. Supposed to be set on fire, bro. Oh no, electricity, there you go. Yeah, you're on electricity. Yeah, how you like that? How you like that? Take this ass. Take this. And this. Yeah, son. Yeah. Okay. Um, anywho. Hope you're ready to play. We're jumping into another episode of Atomic Heart. And I'm your host, HK1990. This is HK1990 Gaming, right here on YouTube. So, I, 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 I am enjoying the game now a little bit more since we've weakened the difficulty. Hey, bro, did I already kill you? I won't lie, I, I am playing on like probably the easiest difficulty. And uh, I don't feel bad about it, because I'm enjoying it now. I'm, I'm enjoying the story, which I was already kind of enjoying the story. But now I'm enjoying it without all the frustration of dying a kabillion times. Which was getting really frustrating. Like now I feel I feel like the 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 badass that I should feel like, you know? I don't feel like I am the poor wealth of a freshman getting my butt kicked by robots when I'm supposed to be this this monster of a guy just shredding robots. I do not mind it. I don't you know I will play a game with a challenge, you know, I, I'm playing Elden Ring, so you know I play, I play the solo games, so it's not like I don't like challenges, it's just, I didn't want to play this game as a challenge, it's just, you know. What's all the fuss? That is, that is OP. Tell me, Comrade Major. Based on your professional and personal experience, would our civilian robots in combat mode really be able to complete the Atomic Heart project? If Comrade Sechenov and the Politburo want to take over the U.S. and even the whole world, they won't fight regular people. But civilians do perish during combat operations. You know all about that. If the robots are programmed not to kill civilians, they won't attack civilians. You're a robot, Charles. You should know all about that. I'm a robot? In a sense, I suppose you're right. A robotic glove? What? Neuropolymer gloves won't take orders from Collective? It depends on the glove. Some will, and some will only be able to obey their carriers. I digress. Civilian robots will receive the order to activate combat mode from Collective. And whoever sets Collective's policies will easily be able to order them to kill anyone at all, including civilians. Why would they kill civvies? They're regular workers, farmers, scientists. Shit. So that's what they want the rings for. And what's that? You can take your thought device off and disconnect from Collective, but a bot can't, can it? That means your own robot housekeeper will drag your ass back into Collective at the drop of a hat. They want the rings to put on their own robots, so they'll only listen to them. Correct. But we get the magic rings. We have the rings of invisibility, blah, 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 blah. blah. Everything's fine. Take it easy now. The bosses know what they're doing. Demon, I haven't even been here a week yet, and I've already seen enough corpses for a lifetime. I thought this place was going to be a regular clinic. I had no idea it was like this. <laughs> Didn't the fact that this place is a secret complex tip you off? You're a little green to be a guard, especially at a hospital. Listen, we're not butchers like those scientists. We're not here to kill people. We just make sure no one runs off. It's fine, really.
So the scientists were butchers, huh? Regular scheduled whining. Flav Flavida, my, my treasure. I understand, but more and more patients are coming from Pavlov every day. There are so many of them, and I'm just one man. My team of buffoons don't count. They're worthless as doctors. Let's do this. I'll take the most interesting court cases, and hopefully collect a 2.0 can treat the rest of them. Flavia, the patients Pavlov have been sending us. Even my professional intellect flinches in horror and doesn't want to deal with it. Autopsies have been showing more and more brutal torture, and there are more of these people every day. At this rate, Collected 2.0 won't have anyone to enlighten. All that's left will be flabby, freakish corpses, just the kind you love, my treasure. Figure out what we're going to do about this, since you're the head physician. In the meantime, I'll go back to my patients, since I'm a brilliant diagnostician. Sound kind of pompous to me, but okay. Saharov didn't die, Kumri. Saharov lives. What? Who are you? What are you talking about? I am an assistant professor from AOC. It matters not. Saharov lives. What do you mean, he lives? It was believed Saharov perished a few years ago in an unfortunate accident. But he did not. I studied the documents. And all of the most revolutionary papers show signs of his involvement. His personal touch, if you like. I worked with him personally and knew his attitude well. Caustic comments, radical methods, unmitigated interruptions. He is most definitely alive. But one question remains. If he is alive and still working, why would somebody hide it? Eh, sounds like a conspiracy theory to me. Right now, it's hard to tell who's alive and who isn't. Unless he's alive and he's actually in control of this whole thing. Oh my god, conspiracy theories. All right. Uh, Nilova's faithful husband. A card has been issued for a V. Nilov. We couldn't get rid of him, so we put him in a free room. Management says he could see A without a hazmat suit if he really wants to. He's been brought to his wife at Pavlov under guard a couple of times. Ooh, excuse me. This condition is under constant observation. Security hasn't been notified since there's no way he'll ever leave Pavlov. Okay. Autolysis starts approximately 7 to 10 minutes after death, followed by defecation in 3 to 5 minutes. Rigor mortis sets in 5 to 6 hours, then let me see, complete decomposition in about 5 years. What are you doing? I'm counting, counting. Everything has to be thoroughly calculated. Precision matters. Observation in detail is the key to success. I am a scientist. I must spend every moment examining and cataloging nature's phenomena. Comrade, do you know many people capable of documenting the decomposition of their own body? What's the point? You can't even record your observations. What? Oh, shit. You have a point. So you will help me. Please stay next to me over the entire period of decomposition and keep track of the progress. You will manage. It won't take long. Give or take 535 to 650 days in current conditions. Fine. I'll go get my notepad. Oh, cut off or cough. You made me lose my concentration. Let's start again. That's not. Ah, uh, the morgue. Breaking and entering. I've got bad news from it. Pavlov just sent us a message saying that you have a small dick. What? <laughs> it also says that the Nevlov case needs to be moved to the underground labs. The poor guy is their problem now. It's an important and unique case, and they say we aren't up to the task. Make a note. Slow speech and mild dementia observed. Nothing found in the blood so far. I won't lose these efforts. I won't let those efforts take my patient. Excuse me. How about a little break and entering, Furman? You with me? <laughs> That's. <laughs> I was reading and saying too fast. I didn't catch it in time. I'm sorry, YouTube. I'm sorry. 
But you're out of your mind, Gregor. Pavlov is a very secure facility. Everything that goes there comes back in a black bag. Or it comes back here and dies on the operating table. They already took A, and they're about to take B. We couldn't stop them even if we had the slightest hope of treating the poor bastards. Breaking into a heavily armed complex to save two lives? I'm in. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. He's in, bro. He's in. Elevator? Elevator. Oh, boy. Let's go. Let's go. I'm ready. I'm ready. Charles, what is this place? I mean, what is this complex even for? The Pavlov complex is the origin of all of Facility 3826's biological innovations. Unique experiments are conducted here, involving everything from breeding new species of farm animals to developing new space exploration technology. Outer space? You mean they make moon rovers here, not Chalamet? Space exploration is about more than just vehicles. A spaceship and rovers will, of course, be required. But what then? What about after humans reach the red planet? So the latest medical breakthroughs, new life support systems, all came from here. Indeed, Conway Major. So many geniuses worked here for the good of all mankind. And now they're gone. Oh, man. Yeah, give me a beat, baby. Dickhead! Fucking fuck! That was quite the tune it busted out on. Where my stuff at? You're incredible, Professor. Your calculations and solutions are so elegant and logical. Your work on mimetic polymer adaptation is an amazing contribution to science. Thank you very much, but it was really a team effort. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, who are you? Ivan Nikov, the elaborate in the Pavlov complex. I work in the archives, but my dream is to work under you. I'm a huge fan of your work. Well, your passion is commendable. Although it is, frankly, a little concerning. The polymers are a quickly evolving scientific field with amazing potential. But I'm afraid passion alone won't be enough to advance it. Let's talk again in a month or so and see what we can do. For now, uh, please excuse me. Science calls. A month? But I don't have a month. You'll hear about me, Professor. You can bet on it. Right then. Data deleted. 
data deleted, data deleted. Okay, data has been deleted. We know the data was deleted. Filthy animal. Some of this. I have a book. I'm afraid to use it. So much polymer. Thing. I don't know what they were doing, but I don't like the looks of it. Don't touch me! Keep your distance. Blood for blood, right? It sounds like some attack on Titan stuff, I don't like it. Goddamn, fuck! The jams are pretty good though.
Cause me to escape the experiment. I'm a doctor. I was the one doing the experiment. How dare they experiment on me? No, I don't want it. No one wants it. We just don't know it yet. Does he sound scavenged? I don't know what I was supposed to find down here. But I don't think I found it. Or I did find it. I don't know. Oh yay, these are my favorite. Alright, little red guy. Yeah, I knew I'd get it eventually. I could pop that one, but I want to explore this building for this room first. I love when those things act up. nice if I had like a button that would just collect everything in the room for me. That'd be... That'd be swell. Yeah, now this room looks important. Don't carry uncorked bottles.
got over here. Good stuff. There doesn't really seem to be anything in this room that I need to be worried about getting. So I'm gonna leave it. Well, I think my job is done here. ahead and open this next thing here. I forgot how to get back up there now. The stairs, like an idiot. Okay. there. Alright. Uh... Huh. I guess we take the elevator again, maybe? Okay. 
I am I am highly confused on what's going on here. What do you want, my guy? What what can I help you with? How can I help you so I may proceed to the next level here? Oh my god. See? No. This this is not cool. Not cool at all. What am I supposed to be doing? Help me to help you, video game. That took longer than I thought it would to figure out, but we figured it out. Test the red goop at. Look, it's the red goop. Goes up as an enemy. Oh, really? Oh, Oh, 
shit. What's capable of this kind of brutality? This poor lady. You are expressing sympathy for a corpse, Major. It's a woman's mutilated body. You had sympathy for people just a little while ago. This person is dead, comrade Major. Make sure your weakness for women doesn't come back to bite your ass later. Something's definitely wrong with you, Charles. I'm gonna ask Sechenov to calibrate you. Bruh, it has blood coming. That, that stuff, like, came out her ear balls. And... I don't know what I need it for yet. Probably that. This thing's still alive. Can hop up out of here. Yes. Huh. Bro, what? What do you got doing in here? Well, what kind of mad science is this? Huh? Dead bodies. Oh my. Mad, mad science, bro. Y'all were doing mad, mad science, bro. A complaint. Listen, I am filing a complaint. About what? About your Stockhausen's disgusting behavior. I was injured, but could have been saved. I was bleeding out and begged him for help. But that stock of yours, and I know you're calling him that ironically, just passed me by. He asked one of these robot ballerinas to step in my throat so that I'd stop making noise, and I died. <sighs> Stock really is a piece of shit, isn't he? Precisely. Precisely, my dear fellow. I ask you to bring this matter to light. Please air the issue with your superiors. It's just shameful. I'm not asking for myself. It's too late for me. But it is the matter of the facility's reputation. He is the assistant to the chief administrator, after all. I can deal with that. Oh, oh, one of the things come alive. His, his... This is truly a magical land filled with strange visions and fanciful characters. A land of incredible emotion and total freedom. It is a land where you know everything and can't make heads or tails of any of it. There's no worry, no anxiety. This is our gift to you, soldier. And needless to say, it will extend your life. A life of combat and violence. Poor fellow. Nurse, the device. The brain is ready for the implant. Whoa. Let's go explore more of this mad science lab. Oh, yeah. That, that is good elevator music. I don't know. to learn from you, but all I ever got from you was scorn. So forth, all depended on you, and now... Oh, 
well. I've still got bullets. I can still fight my way through science. And I stole the box from your office with your favorite music inside. Just so I don't forget, I hid the music box in a safe. The one with the positive password, not the negative one. What will I ever accomplish if I can't even keep a couple of safes straight? The dog! The dog has the positive one. Alright, well at least you decided to fight through science and not, uh, you know, give in to science, I guess. I don't know. You better watch out, car coming through. Oh god, oh god, it's happening. Help me, robot! I don't want this. This is not what I want. Please put me down. I thank you. Put me down. Okay, thank you. Oh no, I don't. No. I didn't want. I didn't want that either. Get off, you licorice monster. Come here, come here, licorice monster. I'm not scared of you. What's this place, Charles? A morgue? Indeed. The bodies of the dead are kept here for further study. Holy fuck. I mean, I get that there are certain experiments that can't be performed on mice or pigs or whatever, so they need living people, but so many. This is completely fucked up. Believe me, comrade major. There are things that are far worse than what you see here. Sometimes the deaths of volunteers can lead to a breakthrough that saves millions of lives. This was how the vaccine against the brown plague was developed. Let's keep going. This has to end. Now. <clears throat> Okay. 
Just go up, I guess. If you want me to help you... No, no. I want you to help all mankind. That's what I'm trying to do. No, no, no. Let's not waste time, okay? There's barely anything left of me. Look, I did the analysis. I did all the calculations. This neural network echo that allows the dead to talk. It's the key to immortality. But how? This is just residual emotions. Not quite. I just developed a neural network method for polymer self-adaptation in my head. We can prevent the consciousness from fading and use its impulses to direct machine parts. Effectively, this will allow the transfer of a human mind into the machine, rendering it immortal. So, what do I need? Here goes. Turns out it's really simple. Have you got a pen? I didn't expect it to be so easy. When thoughts are the only things you have, oh why, they become so clear and flow so very smooth. D don't leave me hanging, Charles. Record what she says. Yes, yes, I'm fading. Begin by taking a simple Soviet available in every home. Hey, lady. You there? I'm afraid that's it, Major. The neuropolymer charge is exhausted. Although she was on the verge of a breakthrough. Damn, talk about brain drain. Man, that's messed up, bro. Like, she was about to tell us immortality itself. Oh well. Snap, back to reality. I don't like this one. How are you gonna get out of there, buddy? You can't. You can't get out of there. You'll never come, you'll never be able to fix it. Until I, until I let you out, that is. We unlocked the rail gun. We've unlocked a lot of guns. Just just randomly. So it feels so random that we unlock them.
don't need to go this way. I need to go this way. Get a little chopper cells. back here. Talk to you? No. This sucks. Now it's my turn. Touch your box. You stop me. I can do that. Okay. Do that. Can't go up this way. Okay. All right. Well, let's keep going this way, I guess. Let's see what's behind this door here. Uh. 
Ugh, this is fucked. Sechenov is a decent guy. How could he let this happen? An army of bots, killer mutants, thousands of innocent victims. No matter how you slice it, the facility's to blame. Even without Petrov, this place has issues. To say nothing of Collective 2.0. Seriously. I gotta wrap this up and retire. Maybe even get married. <laughs> what? Nah, fuck that. Your negative brain activity is generating unpleasant artifacts in my code. I told you to stay out of my head, Charles. Get to work. Set me a fucking waypoint, damn it. Hmm. Alright, guys. Uh, actually, let's go ahead and Authorization. check out Major. some upgrades here. I really think we're pretty much got this this thing. This thing is now upgraded. Oh, cheating the time. Yeah. Cool, cool. All right, let's see. What can we uh, can we upgrade this? Can. All right, this is supposed to stall the muzzle brake. Upgrade this. Um, all right, we don't have the extender magazine here yet. That's location Polygon Six, so there's that. I guess just upgrade this now. Not enough. All right. Um, let's go ahead and check out our storage over here. Uh, we have a lot of shotgun shells. We're just gonna send that over there, I guess. We don't need that right now. Got us some health. Send these small ones over here. Wow. Got a lot of health now, huh? Send these over there. Don't need that many. One of those. One of those. One of the foods. There we go. Yeah, look look at the storage now, baby. Does this thing ever fill up? Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Let's take one of these vodkas. This is so nice. Uh, let's take a couple of these. Uh, I'll put that one back, I guess. Throw in a couple of these. Yeah. Put the half one back. There we go. Yeah, look at that. I'm happy with that. Um, Alright, let's Access check. Access granted. <clears throat> Let's check our uh, polymer here. Yeah, we can do the mass telekinesis thing. Uh, increase the duration for which enemies are held in the air. Yes, please. Energy vampire. Drains energy from vampires. Enemies grab a mass telekinesis. Restore the recirculation chamber's power. Okay. All right. All right, can we upgrade anything on our character? We can. We can do full house, allows you to walk weapons 100% quickly. Our juggler, you can use a neuromod capsule with one hand. That sounds pretty good. And we can still do full house, so let's do that. Boom. I'm feeling so powerful now. And, uh,. Yeah, I think that's gonna be it. Let's go ahead and save it. Saving data. And I will catch you on the next episode. Until then, be ready to play. See ya. Hey everybody. Appreciate you watching the video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button. 
Don't forget to comment and subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, be ready to play. See ya.